Hey there friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be looking at Devon Energy. The ticker symbol for Devon Energy is DVN. And the reason we'll be looking at Devon Energy is because there has been a recent uptick in a lot of these energy names. And I think Devon Energy is one of those that could benefit from this trend. There's also been unusual option activity spotted for this specific name. For those of you who are new, we look at unusual option activity because this is typically a good indicator of where the smart money is going. And the smart money is made up of these large investors with buying power in the millions that are buying large volumes of calls or large volumes of puts. And that's what we define as unusual option activity. The good thing about options is they give us an expiration, which is when investors think the stock price will hit and they give us a strike price, which is an estimate of what price investors think a stock will go. Now we can use this information to follow their trades or take more conservative positions or just use it to establish either a short term or long term position by buying stock in a specific company. So with that being said, please be sure to check out the disclaimer in the description below as well as other information covered in this video. Now, I wanted to cover Devon Energy because of the trend that we've been seeing lately with some of these energy stocks having uh, sort of a bullish trend like Exxon, Chevron, and a, a few of the ETF sector names. But this one in particular was spotted as unusual option activity by one of the CNBC unusual option activity traders, John Nigerian. And he noted that they are there was large buying of the March 2250 calls for Devon Energy. Uh, I'll be posting the link for this specific uh, thread or tweet in the description below. But when we look at the option chain um, for Devon Energy, we can see that most of the volume is going is actually in fact going to this March March expiration. So investors are roughly thinking that. Devon Energy could hit a stock price of $22.50 by at least March 19th. And there's large volume going into this specific strike price as well. When I look at what could be driving some of this bullish sentiment, it doesn't really seem that like nothing really stands out other than the fact that there's, I, I guess, more favorable forecasted results for the company from its uh, latest earnings release and one of those being that uh, I guess the company is expecting revenues of 8.8 .8 billion in 2021 which would reflect a huge 104 percent improvement in sales compared to last year so this is pretty interesting you can see that revenue could be increasing uh, based on their forecasts as well as earnings as well as cash flows and free cash flows so that could be a sign of why investors are probably looking out ahead um, into the march time frame so that's an interesting to note another thing is that when we look at this volume for 2250 on the option chain in robin hood we can see that that comes out to be approximately um one point you know, 1.1 million being traded for this specific strike. And when we look at, or when we think about whether or not the stock could have hit these prices, we want to take a look at some technical analysis. And for that, we're going to want to look at some charts and just previous price levels for the stock. And one of the levels that stands out kind of right off, uh, right at uh, first glance is this, 22 22.99 or i guess pretty close to that 22.50 range if you either go from this candle or some of these candles and you can see that there's another point of uh, resistance up here on this level but it looks like initially there's a level here that first needs to get crossed to be reached there and you can see from this line that the stock is getting pretty close to reaching that level so it could be that some of these investors are eyeing for there to be some kind of technical breakout. Uh, however, since they're, they are going for the March contracts, 
there could be some co consolidation on the way there. So you could see maybe some consolidation here or maybe around this level, but eventually the stock could reach above this 2250 or 22-ish, 23-ish line. And so with that being said, I think the idea of how you would trade this would be, um, I guess, following the specific smart money trade of going into this March 19th expiration um, for the 2250 calls, preferably, I guess, the call side for this specific play. However, you do want to kind of consider market conditions and sort of the sentiment of the market if you're looking at a more short-term trade, short-term time frame, maybe you would think that the stock could be consolidating, so there's probably some downside, or maybe even you could think that there's potentially some upside even from here. So I think the charts paint a good picture of if the stock does break out from this level, we could see some more upside here as we've seen in the past, and that's kind of just based on this historical low level where we're at now and it seems that the stock is just trying to break out through that level but um, as always there could be some consolidation or rocky rockiness on the way there so the trade would be getting those calls if you're going on the put side you potentially um, either get the longer term time frame call or uh, puts or a shorter term time frame depending on the market conditions and then these levels are essentially based off of the pivot points and levels of support and resistance from historical prices that the stock has reached. So the entry point, I think, also is one that I wanted to point out is roughly with uh, the stock trading back up to that 2140 or 48 or 2150. So if the stock is trading above that 41, 40, 2150 price, then that's a good indicator that the momentum would be to the upside. However, if it's trading below that, then this the stock could continue to consolidate on the downside. And that level is really based off of this 10 day moving average calculated on the hourly basis. So in the short term, I think this is a good time frame to look at if you want to establish an entry point and so that's a interesting level that I just wanted to point out so that's the idea for this one let me know you your guys's thoughts and uh, what you think about some of the energy uh, trends that we've been seeing thanks again for watching